Hello everyone! For today's video lesson ay igaguide ko kayo sa inyong learning task sa inyong week 6 para sa mga grade 7 fourth quarter. Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel! Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, magawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Just keep on watching! Good day everyone! Sa nakaraang video ay itinuro ko ang measures of central tendency ng ungroup data. So bago natin sagutan ang mga learning tasks dito, panoorin nyo muna yon para maintindihan ninyo kung paano nga ba sasagutan to. I-click nyo na lang sa taas or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin upang sa ganon ay mas maintindihan ninyo kung paano nga ba sasagutan itong mga learning tasks. I-review lang natin kung paano mag-compute ng mean. So, the mean is the most popular among the measures of central tendency for it is widely used. It is common called the average of a set of n numbers and it is the sum of all numbers divided by n. The formula for mean is x na may bar sa taas equals the summation of x over n. For example, dito ang gagawin lang natin ay i-add natin yung mga given so, 8 plus 7 plus 10 plus 7 plus 12 plus 11 plus 8, i-divide natin sa kung ilan siya. So, 2, 4, 6, 7, and that would be equal to 63 over 7 or equal to 9. Another example, 6 plus 8 plus 7 plus 11 plus 12 plus 15 over kung ilan ito. So, 7 ito is equal to 10. Okay? Kapag kukunin naman yung weighted mean, imumultiply lang yung value ng x sa frequency, then kunin natin yung sum nila. So, 3 times 2 equals 6, 5 times 1 equals 5, 9 times 3 equals 27, 11 times 4 equals 44, divided by kung ilan yung frequency, that is 10, kasi 2 plus 1 plus 3 plus 4 equals 10. And that would be equal to 8.2. Ang median naman, kukunin lang natin yung nasa gitna or yung middle score. Pero, kailangan mo na nating i-arrange in decreasing or increasing order. For example, yung given na example natin sa nakaraan, i-arrange muna natin to in ascending order. So, mauna yung 7, 7, tapos sunod yung dalawang 8, then 10, 11, 12. Ang gagawin lang natin, kukunin lang natin yung number na nasa gitna and that is 8. At ang symbol naman ng median ay ganito. Kapag ang given naman ay even number, ito o, 2, 4, 6. So, anim sila, ba May dalawang number na nasa gitna. Pero, kailangan nyo muna siyang i-arrange. Ang gagawin naman dito, i-add lang yung dalawang nasa gitna by 2. So, 82 plus 84 divided by 2 is equal to 83. Meaning, the median score is equal to 83. Sa mode naman, kukunin nyo lang kung ano yung number na pinakamarami. For example, dito, 10, 14, 13, 14, 14, 12. Ang pinakamaraming number ay 14, meaning to say the mode is 14. At ang tawag dito ay unimodal. Another example, kapag dalawa naman yung mode dito, merong dalawang 7, dalawang 8. Ang mode dito ay 7 and 8, and this is what we call bimodal. At kapag wala namang naulit na number, ang sagot dito ay no mode. Let us try to answer your learning task number 1. Mrs. Montana has 5 children, namely Rodley, Christina, Christian, Elsa, and May. Count all the letters in each name. Which of the following sets illustrate the order of the names based on the number of letters it has from the least to greatest? So, ang gagawin natin dito ay arrange natin yung name nila from least to greatest according to the number of letters. So, ano ba yung pinakakaunti dito? ba si May? Then, ang susunod si Elsa kasi apat. Then, ang susunod ay si Rodley kasi anim. Then, next is si Christina. So, merong 2, 4, 6, 8 naman. Then, lastly, si Christian. And that is letter C. Number 2, 
Given the illustration below, locate the middle stack by arranging the stacks from least number of coins to greatest number of coins. How many coins are in the middle stack? Which of the following illustrates the median of the set of data? I-arrange muna natin to from least to greatest. So, mauna yung 1, ito. Then, pangalawa ito, pangatlo ito, pangapat, then panglima. Alin dito sa choices ang naka-arrange from least to greatest? That is letter A. So, tatlo yung median. How many coins are there in the middle stack? That is 3 kasi siya yung nasa gitna. Okay? So, this is letter A. Then, number 3. Which of the following broken line graphs illustrate the modes of ungrouped data which are 4 and 7? Going back to the definition of mode, ito yung most frequent that occur in the data. So, ibig sabihin, ito sa mga choices, alin dito ang highest niya ay 4 at saka 7. So, unahin muna natin dito sa B. Yung 4 at saka 7 ay yung lowest niya. Then, letter C naman, ganun din, nandito sa baba, ang mode dito ay 8, tapos dito naman, ang mode dito ay 7 and 8. Then, kung titingnan ninyo dito sa letter A, yung 4 at saka 7, yun yung pinakamataas. At kung mapapansin ninyo, merong 3 dito, ibig sabihin, tatlong beses nagpakita si 4 at si 7. So, the correct answer is letter A. Then, number 4, Given the illustration at the right, what is the mean number of candles sold per month? Per candle is equal to 5 candles. So, ibig sabihin, 15 ito, and then ito naman ay 25, tapos ito 35, then ito naman ay 45. So, ano yung gagawin natin para makuha yung mean? Ang kailangan natin gawin, i-add lang natin yung 15, 25, 35, tsaka 45 is equal to 120. Then, i-divide natin kung ilan ba to. So, merong apat. June, July, August, September. So, 120 divided by 4 is equal to 30. So, tingnan nyo na lang dyan kung alin yung correct answer. Number 5, what are the mean, median, and mode of the recorded temperatures in San Pablo City, Laguna? Sa May 10, merong 32 degrees Celsius. May 11 is 33 degrees Celsius. May 12 naman ay 32. May 13 ay 33. And May 14 ay 32. Unahin muna natin kunin yung mean. So, ang gagawin natin, i-add lang natin yung given. 32 plus 33 plus 32 plus 33 plus 32 is equal to 162. I-divide natin sa kung ilan yan, that is 5. So, 32.4 yung mean. The mean is 32.4. Then, ano naman yung median? So, ang median, i-arrange muna natin in ascending or decreasing order. Una yung 32, next is another 32. Then, 32 ulit, tapos, dalawang 33. Since lima lang naman yan, alin dito ang nasa gitna? Yung 32. So, the median is equal to 32. At ano naman yung mode? So, ang mode is the most frequent in the data. So, alin dyan ang may pinakamaraming nagpakita? Yung 32 kasi tatlo. So, ibig sabihin, ang mode ay 32 degrees. Then, dadalawa lang naman yung 33. Alin dito sa choices ang correct answer? So, tingnan nyo na dyan kung nasaan. Then, dito naman sa learning task, number 2, calculate the mean, median, and mode. Number 1, so, inibahan ko yung mga given dito ha, para sagutan ninyo yung nasa module ninyo. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Para makuha yung mean, kailangan lang natin gawin is to get the summation of x or simply i-add lang natin 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 divided by kung ilan ito. So, merong 5 kaya divide by 5. Then, 3 plus 4 equals 7 plus 5 equals 12 plus 6 equals 18 plus 7 equals 
25 divided by 5, that would be equal to 5. Meaning, the mean of the data is 5. Ano naman ang median? Since naka-arrange naman na ito in ascending order, so hindi na natin kailangang i-arrange. Ang gagawin na lang natin ay to find the middle value. So alin dyan ang nasa gitna? That is 5. Ano naman ang mode? Alin dito ang may naulit na number? Wala. Ibig sabihin, no mode. Okay? Or none. Then, number 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7. Kagaya lang ng ginawa natin dito, i-add lang natin to 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 7 divided by kung ilan. So, 2, 4, 6 kaya 6. And that is equal to 32 divided by 6. 32 divided by 6 equals 5.33. So, meaning to say the mean is equal to 5.33. Ano naman ang median? Since naka-arrange na siya in ascending order, ano yung nasa middle value? Pero anim ito, kaya ang kailangan natin gawin, i-add lang natin yung dalawang nasa gitna. And that is 5 and 6. I-divide natin sa 2. 5 plus 6 equals 11 divided by 2 equals 5.5. So the median of this set of data is equal to 5.5. Ano naman yung mode dito? Alin yung number na marami? That is 7. So, meaning the mode is 7. Then, number 3, 5, 6, 3, 4, 5, 1, 4. Para makuha yung mean, i-add lang natin. 5 plus 6 equals 11 plus 3, 14 plus 4, 18 plus 5, 23 plus 1, 24 plus 4, 28. Divided by kung ilan ito. So, this is 7. So, 28 divided by 7 is equal to 4. The mean is equal to 4. Ano naman yung median? Since hindi ito naka-arrange in ascending order, kailangan muna natin siyang i-arrange. Mauna yung 1, then susunod yung 3, then 4, 4, 5, 5, 6. Then, tingnan na natin dito kung ano yung nasa gitna. That is 4. Meaning, the median is equal to 4. Alin naman dito ang mode or alin dito sa numbers ang nagpakita ng maraming beses? That is 4 kasi dalawa at saka 5. Meaning, the mode is equal to 4 at saka 5. And this is what we call the bimodal kasi dalawa yung mode niya. Then, letter B naman, get the average of a particular grade 10 learners whose grades are as follows. So, ang gagawin lang natin dito... Kukunin natin yung average niya. I-add lang natin yung kanyang grade. So, that is 90 plus 91 plus 90 plus 90 plus 93 plus 94 plus 91 plus 92. Then, i-divide natin sa kung ilan ito. That is 8. That is 731 divided by 8 equals 91.375 plus but, ang rule dito, round your answer to the nearest whole number. So, yung 91, magiging 91 lang lang. Kasi 3 lang naman ito. Oh. Hindi natin pwedeng i-round up. So, yun lamang. Abangan ninyo yung number 5 sa susunod na video hanggang sa inyong assessment. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, mag-comments kayo sa baba. At share nyo na rin sa mga classmates ninyo para malaman nila. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy, at mag-aralang mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!